Oh my gosh, it's so tiny. All right, we got another freezer, guys. We might not have a couch to sit on, but we have freezers full of homegrown meat. <laughs> Look at that. I'm going through that food. Look at them, they got their wings. Hey, quail nuggets. Quail's been going through their food, guys. I've been filling this up. They've been eating it pretty good. We lost another quail yesterday, so that's two quails we lost. They got little quail poops in there. <laughs> Which is kind of <laughs> cute little quail poops. I bought some turkey starter feed for them. Uh, it has more protein than the uh, chick starter feed. That's why I went with that. And it's organic. They just don't like to be held. No. Like, like the baby chicks, you could hold them and snuggle them. These guys are like, ah, what are you doing to me? It's like they'll wiggle themselves to death. No, these monster, monster chickens. Hey, meatballs. I wonder if um, the heat lamp is too low. If it's gonna rain today. Yeah, I think the heat lamp is too low. Every day is different here with my flare-ups I've been having, my eczema flare-ups. Um, today is, I guess, a little better. I'm um, just trying to take it all day by day. Luckily, it's really cool out. It's been cool out this week, which is nice, 70s. Hold on, hold on, pigs. So when I let them out, every time I let them out or throughout the day, you kind of have to see where the fence is at. You know, we can't. Sometimes the fence is like knocked down. You can't have that. You need the fence fairly tight. Actually, there's nothing, you know, up against it because they'll, they'll root up. They'll dig some of this dirt up onto the fence and then it won't work well. Like yesterday, they had this. This fell on the fence. You don't want that. You're gonna have to. Hold on, pigs. Just to kind of see, like, you no know, dirt. The dirt's kind of pushed up against the fence. You know, make sure it's in there real good. All right, I'm coming. You want to hear? Let me check it. Make sure it's. Hot. Hey. Come on. I'm coming. Hey, pigs. Hey, pigs. Oh boy, these pigs are getting big, guys. I already tell. You can tell right now that they're getting big from when we very first bought them. Ryan's moving the coop. Yeah. Hey, pigs. Almost ready to put these Murray's Big Red Broilers into our freezer. We got about a week left before we do a workshop. We're kind of pushing the limit here, guys, this year with these chickens in this chicken tractor. Typically we do 30, but we got 40 in here, which now I'm thinking that probably a little bit too much. Because I'm noticing that some of them, you know, there's, there's a good group of them eating, but then there's some of them kind of like hanging out. So that's why we added another trough there uh, to kind of help with that. And I think next next year, I think maybe not do 40 or maybe build another chicken tractor. So they're still looking big. You know, there's some, a couple, few small ones in there. This guy's a big guy right there. Sometimes we free range these chickens, but the thing is with meat chickens, they don't really free range. They do up to a certain point, but then 
eventually they just sit and won't move. Like they'll still hang out inside this coop even if I left the door open. They'll come out a little bit, but for the most part, all they do is sit and get big. So even these red broilers, they do that. Uh, for sure the Cornish crosses, they don't move. All they do is get big. The red broilers are a little bit better foragers than the Cornish crosses, um, but for the most part, they're still meat birds. Also, hawks. We get hawks here, guys. I've seen them flying around. This shelter here, this portable coop, helps with hawks because if they were free ranging, they would get picked off pretty quick. We have an abundance of lamb quarters that the pigs love to eat it. We've harvested it, we've saved it. I mean, we can eat it. This is nature spinach. We've done videos on it, so I'll leave a link down below. It's an old video. Our older videos, nobody's watched or watching, but I feel like we have a lot of good content that it's like a lot of older content that we did. Now oh, the pigs are fighting. Um, like how to, how to preserve the, Lamb's quarters, you know, like we're doing more vlog type videos now. Um, but in the early stages, we did a little bit more how to videos, like specific how to videos. So if you can go back into our videos, over 800 videos of, that we've posted now of, of how to do stuff. Hey, pigs. Watch my finger. We just got a bunch of quail eggs. These are not from our quails yet. <laughs> they are too little for this, but um, our friend, the same one that gave us our quail, gave us all these quail eggs to try out because we've never had a quail egg. Look how tiny they are compared to a regular chicken egg. So they're like half the size. I guess with quail eggs, you need to crack them with scissors because they don't crack very well. Let's try to crack one. All right. Like regular. Oh, let's try to crack it like a regular egg? Yeah. Okay. Uh -oh. It's not gonna work. Well, just to see yeah. like what it does. <clears throat> it's so thick. Oh, oh my gosh, it's so tiny! That worked all right. I mean, there's some eggshells in there. Yeah. I guess it's kind of hard because they're little. Oh, cool. Oh. Just to see the size, that's a chicken egg. I believe this is how you do it. No, um, hold it up, yeah. And then. Okay, now put the eggshell in there. Oh, so it cuts the top. Okay. okay. <laughs> My friend said that you could also boil these, hard boil them, and then peel off the shell and just eat them like that or pickle them. I guess you gotta commit. Little eggs for little family, guys. Uh, we have little chairs, and we have little eggs. Penelope's whisking them up. Lorraine's cooking some eggs. We're gonna do a blind taste test to see if we could tell the difference between a quail egg and a chicken egg. We have never ate a quail egg before. I'm putting on my blindfold right now. You got your blindfold on, Penelope? Yeah. Unless you don't wear the blindfold. You're saying I don't need to wear a blindfold? No, I want to wear a blindfold. I can't talk to you with that blindfold on. I just want to use a blindfold. <laughs> okay. Okay. Are you excited, Penelope? Yeah. You're already trying it? No, no, she's not trying it. Okay, give me your fork and I'll put an egg on it. Hang on just a second. So we just put, you just put butter and salt on these? Just butter and salt. Tastes good. All right, there you go, Penelope. They're pretty the same, but I would say the first one is the quail. They do taste the same texture. First one had a little bit more flavor. I don't know if it had more butter on it. Which one did you guys prefer? The first one. Egg one or egg two? Egg one. Egg one? Yeah. Egg number one was quail egg. Ooh. Egg number two was Bernice's egg. This one's the quail. The light one is the quail egg. The dark one is Bernice's egg. Well, the quail egg has more flavor, surprisingly. I would have to agree with you. Yeah? Yeah. I mean, the chicken egg tastes like a chicken egg. But I kind of feel like the quail egg is kind of buttery. 